Three of Discs, Upright. This card indicates the work and productivity that you have in your life and describes that this work must be done with care and love in every moment. There is no need to rush or put stress on yourself, but rather simply devote yourself wholeheartedly to your work and make sure that it is done well with care and respect to the craft. If you do not, you do a disservice to all of the other craftsmen as well as yourself. It is always difficult to redo and relearn lessons due to failure to properly practice the first time around. Micro description. The three of discs shows two masters looking over a young architect's work, giving him advice and encouraging him to continue his practice. The pyramid in progress stands with three great pillars rising from its corners, which represent the three foundational elements from which all of reality is built, salt, mercury, and sulfur. These foundational elements symbolize the three higher elements above earth, water, air, and fire, respectively, and the three mother Hebrew letters from which the entire alphabet emerges from. In the distance, the great pyramids of Giza can be observed, showing that we are all building and striving to mirror great works that exist all around us. Upright, works, reversed, envy, tree of life, bana, astral signature, Mars and Capricorn, Key words, project, focus, devotion, craft, learning, taste of victory, first steps, beginnings, coordination, teamwork, expanded description. The three of discs indicates the getting your hands dirty with the work you are devoted to and that we must do this work with tremendous care and love and strive for constant improvement by listening to the wisdom of others. In other sense, it is the initial completion of a certain stage of this work, as well as a time of reflecting to discover where to go next. There has been much thought and conceptualizing around it, and now it's the time to continue building this, these creations of yours. This card holds the essence of focus, goals, devotion, projects, and the first steps or beginning of something. There is also satisfaction here. The beginnings of this work looks promising. If you keep this up, the end result will reflect the same level of success. The image on this card depicts a young architect receiving advice from two ancient masters, Toth and Ra. In the distance, the great pyramids of Giza can be seen as the young mentor strives to mirror the powerful monuments of the great masters of history. It's time for you to devote yourself to your work, whatever that means for you. It could be anything from working harder on your homework applying yourself more at your job, or to striving towards living your deepest passions. There is no need to rush or stress the process, but this card indicates more than just thinking about the project. It's actually devoting yourself to your craft and making it real in the physical dimension. To that end, putting your heart and love into everything you do is key here, for no matter how significant this idea may feel, your end results will match the work that you put into it. Love in, love out. Lazy in, lazy out. Bring all aspects of yourself into your work, your emotions, mental and spiritual energy included. This then creates a powerful foundation for all of your creations both in the present and in the future. 
The three of discs also speaks to ideas of teamwork and collaboration. When you are open to learning from masters of their craft, humble yourself and incorporate their input. Your creations can become even more powerful and you can find yourself learning much more than if you were to forego their instructions and choose to learn things the hard way by your own trial and error. Staying open to new information and help from others is crucial to building, growing, and evolving your projects and your own personal growth. This lifts you up in the eyes of others and thus you will be observed as an avid learner rather than an arrogant fool. Three of Discs Reversed The reversal meaning of the Three of Discs is an envy towards those who have demonstrated more skill than you, and in this we may, we may sow the seeds of arrogance within us. From this space, we often close to learning from others and insist that we must do it all ourselves. Yet, without input from our community, we often miss out on many perspectives and viewpoints that could be tremendously valuable to a project, which may even make or break it in the end. This card can, can even carry the essence of rushing, wanting to get the work done faster but missing critical steps in the process, which could even bring sloppiness to the job, causing it to be less effective or appealing to others. Ultimately, this energy also derives from envy because we are jealous of the success of others and wish to have that success too, but don't realize what needs to go into something for it to be received well. To turn this reversed card upright, first check on the status of your heart and ask why are you feeling that, you, the, that way towards the work of others? Though it might be scary, you might find that if you take your work to someone you trust and share it with them, you will receive the love you need but might be afraid to feel. By opening up your heart and casting aside your ego, choosing instead to be humble and listen to the advice of your peers or mentors, you can rise above your lower self and gain some valuable insights that will allow you to make the project a great one. If you are altogether disheartened by the project and just simply don't want to work on it anymore, Perhaps you need to reevaluate what your higher goals and aspirations are. Be clear with yourself as to what you really want to be doing with your life. By readjusting your inner calling and aligning with your higher self in this way, you can rise up and make a big difference in the world. <laughs> 